Here's what you need to gold leaf. The first thing you need is the item you're going to gold leaf. We're going to demonstrate on a picture frame. You need gold leaf adhesive size, and it's essentially just a kind of glue. You need gold leaf sealer, a craft paint brush, and we're using a brush that's a little bit small and kind of stiff. And finally, you need gold leaf sheets, and they come in a package just like this with tissue in between, and you can see it's an actual sheet of gold leaf. The first thing you want to do is coat your entire surface with your adhesive size. We're just going to use our craft paintbrush for that. And you want to just start in an area so that you're sure to cover the whole thing. So start in one spot and just start painting. And you want to make sure it doesn't pool like that. Um, you want it to be a thin layer on the entire surface, just like that. And once we've coated our entire frame with the gold leaf adhesive size, we're going to set it aside and let it dry for 15 minutes until it's tacky. We waited 15 minutes for the glue to dry on our frame, and you can see it's just a little bit tacky. And while we were waiting, we washed and dried our brush, and we're ready to apply the gold leaf. This is where the magic happens. You can take a sheet, just start like this and lay it directly on the frame or whatever you're gold leafing and then just sort of rub it in a little bit with your finger. And you can see there are cracks forming there, but that's fine because we, we're going to fill that in. That's part of the magic of the gold leaf is that all of the pieces will fit together perfectly. Um, you won't end up with little gaps or seams in between um, the pieces that you add. So you can see we kind of rub that in. And now I'm going to be sure to get all the way around the edge of my frame here. And then I'm just going to tear this piece off and put a, put a piece over here. And it's okay if it's folded up, doesn't matter, because the excess we're going to wipe off in a minute. We'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to do a little area here with my brush. And what I'm going to do with my dry brush is press the gold leaf into all of these little um, details, little crevices and things on the frame. And Part of why we wanted a stiff brush was so that we could kind of get in there and push this gold leaf around, just like that. And again, all of these cracks and things, we're going to fill those in, so don't worry about that at all. It's funny how beautiful it ends up looking when, in the, in the process, it's kind of a little bit of a, a mess. So now we're going to apply a little bit more. Whoops. And it doesn't matter how big the pieces are, you know, we started with a full sheet, but now we're down to smaller pieces as they tear, and that's just fine. And even these little bits, you can kind of pick them up with your brush and reset them down, and when you brush them on, they'll stay. So we always like to work on a surface that we can then pick up, you know, any little piece of gold leaf that's brushed off and use it again. So we'll just put a little bit more here overlapping where we already were, which is fine, because again, that excess will brush right off. That's actually a good way to cover any seams, is to go ahead and take a piece and apply it directly over what you just did, and use your brush to brush off any excess. So it won't matter if you're overlapping. And it starts to look pretty amazing. And especially, you can really see the detail of this frame starting to emerge as we apply the gold leaf. I'm going to grab this little piece that's over here. See, it's like magic. You don't need to waste any of it, which is good because it's actual gold, so you don't want to waste it. It's not expensive, but it's not, you know, cheap or free. <laughs> so you want to be sure to use every piece you can. I think we're ready for another sheet. So I'm going to take another sheet out of my little booklet here. And you can tear a piece off if you want, if you don't like working with bigger pieces and just put them right on. Or you could take the whole sheet and lay it down like that and kind of tap it in. You want to be sure with a picture frame, you want to be sure to get this inside edge. So I'm doing that here. And I'm going to go all the way around to the side of my frame. And again, this is overlapping, but that's fine. We're going to brush off the excess. And I'm going to go ahead and tear this piece off down here and apply it right next door, right there. 
and it's starting to stick to me because I'm a little bit sticky from touching the frame, but that's fine. I'm just going to take the little pieces and set them over there and I can brush them in. I'm going to get another sheet here. And I like doing the whole sheet just because it feels like making progress. I'm going to tear this middle part off, set it down over here. Wrap that around the side just like that. And because this glue is so tacky, it just sticks. So there are all these little pieces around, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to pick them up as we go here and set them back down. Let me get some more. And I want to make sure that I'm getting the different areas that aren't covered here, like this little part here. So I'm going to tear a little piece off and a little piece here. And I can see that this whole side actually is not done yet. So I'm going to grab a little bit more. Just so the whole thing is covered. I might just take my whole sheet and dab it on and then pull it back off. It's another way to do it. Kind of tap it on and then pull the excess away like that. This is not a clean activity. This isn't like a little tidy project. You end up with gold leaf sort of all over the place. So be sure to not work with a fan on or anything that will blow it around. Put that over there. Big piece put it over here. And I'm gonna take this big piece off and then I wanna brush in this side a little bit here. I'm gonna take some gold leaf and try to fill in this little part here just by tearing off a couple pieces and placing it right on top. It's sticking to me. And then I'm going to use my brush to brush it off. And I can see the here that's not sticking now, which is just fine. We're going to show you how um, to fill in all of those places where it's not sticking. You can see it's not sticking here. We'll show you that in a second. So we're just going to keep applying the gold leaf to all of the sticky parts and brushing off the excess with our dry brush. And then we're going to show you how to cover the little areas that still need gold leaf but aren't sticky anymore. So we finished applying our gold leaf to all of the areas that are sticky. And we went back and kind of burnished the different areas with the finger. You can also use your brush to kind of go back over and make sure that all the gold leaf is brushed in and then all the excess is brushed away. But I can see here that I've got a couple spots that are still white. So the glue clearly um, isn't still there. So we're going to fix that by applying a little more of our gold leaf adhesive size. So we're going to take our brush, get a little bit of the adhesive size on the brush, and we're going to just put it directly over any area it still has the white showing. And again, you don't want it to pool. It's okay if, it, um, if the glue gets on the, the gold leaf that's already there. So we're gonna put it in all the different spots that are still showing a little bit of white. And once we've got our adhesive size on all of the spots that we wanna fill in with gold leaf, we're gonna wait 15 minutes till the glue gets tacky again, and then we can apply more gold leaf. So our gold leaf adhesive size has dried in the different areas where we wanted to fill in. It's a little tacky to the touch, so we're ready to apply more gold leaf. And to do that, we're just going to tear off smaller pieces here and place them directly over the areas that still need the gold leaf where we applied that adhesive size. And I'm just going to touch it down with my fingers like that in a couple spots and then go back with the brush. And you can see that it'll only stick to where that adhesive size is still tacky. So I'm going to use the brush to sort of wipe it around and brush off any excess. Just like that. And then I'll apply a little bit more to any other area that's showing up a little bit of white. That's a big piece, but that's okay because I'm going to just brush off the excess and I can reuse that piece in another project. 
So we're just going to keep applying gold leaf to the different areas that are still tacky and still need gold leaf and then we'll be ready to seal it. We filled in all of the little white spots and we're ready to apply our sealer. And to do that, we're just gonna take our brush, take the sealer, and just go carefully over the whole surface. And you don't wanna over brush it. So you just brush it on like that and make sure you get in every little crevice. And this will dry clear in 15 minutes, so don't worry that it looks white right now. We're just gonna keep applying the gold leaf sealer, and then we'll wait 15 minutes for it to dry, and then we'll have a gorgeous gold leaf picture frame.